Hey everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. How you all doing? <laughs> I'm doing breast cleaning. Uh, I have six of those. They need to be clean. And I have four of these. These are the keyholes that need to be clean. I am uh, still working on my secretary. I'm actually going to bring it in um, the living room tonight. Um, right now, the three drawers are outside and they just received their third coat of tongue oil. And, you know, I think it looks pretty good. Um, you can still see a little bit of the repair, but you gotta be at a particular angle, like straightforward, can't see it at all. We'll see what happens once it's put back together. So what I want to do today, um, and then I'll show you what it looks like, of course, because I'll film some more tomorrow. Uh, it's Saturday right now. Um, I have time before I go and garden. Um, yeah, I got about like 45 minutes, maybe an hour. So I'm going to try two methods to doing the um, brass handles. The first one is twinkle. And for that, I need to, uh, that's the beep you heard, I need uh, hot water. So what you do is that you take your piece, you dip it in hot water, then you start putting a paste of um, twinkle on it, um, you know, elbow grease, and then you rinse it and you repeat as needed. The other method, um, I'm not gonna do the ketchup. I know it works, I've done it before, uh, but it's really messy and I'm in my dining room and I'd like to stay in the dining room actually the other method is salt and vinegar. So you have um, White vinegar and Salt You take a cloth you dip it in the vinegar So you wet a part of the cloth then you dip it in, in salt and then you rub So we're gonna try both method and we're gonna see where it works. Um, I'm definitely not going to finish them all today. I need to get um, gardening. I have to go get my gloves. And I also brought the Timu um, mechanical thing. And I'm going to go and get the polishing um, head for it to see if I can make them super shine. Um, so let me go get my boiling water and then we're going to get started. Okay, ready? Um, we're gonna start with the hot water and the twinkle. So here's the first piece, and that is obviously a keyhole. This is the front part, and this is the back. I'm gonna put that in hot water. see some progress this is gonna take a while <laughs> So it somewhat works, but boy, does it require a lot of work. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put this head on this thing here. It fits exactly in here. So I'm gonna wet the sponge. Okay, let's see if it goes faster.
It's clean, but it's not super shiny. Alright, let's try the next method. So the next method is vinegar and salt. So you're supposed to dip your rag in the vinegar, saturate it with salt and scrub. Let's see. Okay, so here's the salt and vinegar. And this is, this one right here is the uh, twinkle. So it seems that the salt and vinegar is better, makes it shinier. It's got a, um, yeah, it looks better. Uh, but those are pretty old, so they, it's not that they scratched, but I don't know if I can bring it back to a glossy uh, shine. All right. I, I know you want to see the ketchup, right? Okay, let me go pull out some ketchup. We're going to do ketchup. And who knows? Uh, maybe the ketchup will work better. So I'm going to put in hot water. All right. And we're going to put ketchup on it. All right, and we're gonna let it sit. Uh, how long should I let it sit? Let's do 10 minutes and we'll see what happens. All right, let's try the ketchup. I mean, it's not that the ketchup doesn't work, it just seems that it's, it takes longer. <laughs> it's not, um, it still works, but it's not as effective as the other one. So the one that works the best, in my opinion, so far, is the vinegar and salt. I'm gonna add salt to the whole thing. And I'm just gonna rub. You see, it's already. Cleaning it way better. Okay, it's 5 30 i gotta get going and garden so this is what they look like uh before okay and this is what they look like after put them side by side oh look at that Ooh. okay which one works the best um 
But this one I had issues with because this is the one that, um, that I had done first. And I had done it right after I got the piece. Um, it's the one that's on the door, the uh, main desk door. And if you look at it, you can see that it's like kind of faded on the edges here. So it's probably the one that got cleaned the most over the years. Um, so what I'm gonna do is probably put this one on the bottom drawer. Um, yeah, that's what, because they're all the same size, right? Yeah, they're all the same. So I'll put this one at the bottom drawer. Now, out of the other three, okay, so this was um, ketchup. But what I did was finish it with vinegar and salt, okay? This was uh, the twinkle only. And this is all vinegar and salt. And to me, that's the best one of the three. So this is all vinegar and salt, and this is uh, the twinkle only. So I think you can see there's a slight difference. It's not a huge difference. It's slight, you know, it doesn't bother me. So I'm got a buffing cloth here and I am uh, buffing them. Uh, and I know that some of you are probably thinking, oh, the real bad didn't scratch it. No, it didn't. <laughs> it's not that abrasive. Copper, I wouldn't do it on copper but on brass it's a harder surface now the brass cell i remember i struggled with the um fireplace if you remember uh brass cell, i wasn't impressed that's the reason why i got the twinkle twinkle is all right all right bottom line salt and vinegar okay so i'm putting those two aside i'm going to clean up my big mess here um, And I'm gonna go and garden. So when you see me again, I'll probably have to be in the living room. Now the guy, okay, so the one guy, if you're on Facebook, you know, um, because my brain is always an override. Um, I'm, I'm really convinced that the top part of the hutch is not the original one because it's only on the front. It's like a gallery on the front. The other ones, it goes all the way around. So that's number, Q number one. Q number two, definitely not the right finial. So I think it's the top of a different piece. Um, the original one probably broke. And I still have the issue with the fretwork. And there was a guy on Facebook who was selling a brand new, not a brand new one, but a, a one that was in good shape for a hundred bucks. And uh, I figured, yeah, I'm gonna sell it. I haven't seen it again. He might have sold it for somebody who wants, maybe you watch the videos and you figure I can do what Sophia does. And uh, you're out in your garage right now, uh, <laughs> stripping it. Um, kudos if that's the case. And then there's another guy who's selling the top only um with perfect fretwork and the original top with the right finial and this one guy i gave him my measurements i told him look i'm trying to buy it he only wants 25 bucks for it um i'm trying to buy it just for parts i just want the top and the uh fretwork uh, but could you tell me if i have the right measurements he never responded so we're back to square one. Um, maybe I should ask again. I'm gonna ask again. I'm gonna harass him. Yeah, okay. These look good. And now I just realize I also have to clean the top of the little nail that goes in because it's gonna be black. Oh, those are tiny. How am I gonna do that? Oh, I could put them in a vise, like a, uh, um, I forgot the name of it. But anyway, um, so we're back to square one. 
I'm gonna see if I can save the fret work and then um, repair the finial. I'm not happy about that, but you know, down the road, I may still find another piece that I can grab the uh, top for. Um, all right, I'm rambling because I'm not paying attention. I'm doing this at the same time. Let me go garden. When I come back, we'll look at what they look like. We'll post one on the uh, front to see what it looks like. And I'll have the piece back into the uh, living room. Um, with that, the handles, so we can see the overall look. And then I'll take out the uh, freight work. Okay, that's the best one. And that is uh, vinegar and salt alone. So my great challenge recommends white vinegar and salt for very, very tarnished, grimy pieces like this, hardware, rust hardware. Okay, I'll talk to you in a second. So I know it's going to look like chaos right now, but I'm in the process of phasing the entertainment center out, okay? And I told you I was going to do that. Uh, so I still have <laughs> the middle part um, for now, but the two other parts are on the Facebook marketplace right here. And we'll see what happens. And then this one is here for now. It's probably not its final place, um, but what I'm gonna do is put the drawers back in. They're right here, by the way. And I have to measure the back. You see how it's slanted? My floor is not even. It's an old house, okay? Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty drastic, actually, as a uh, um, slant, but okay. Um, it's not its final place. This has to go. This is going to go somewhere else. I'm just in the process of moving things around. Okay, so let me put the drawers back in. Uh, next order of business, I want to put the stuff back up here and see what it is that I need to do to repair it. I got to measure the back and order the back for it and then uh, see if I can remove the fretwork today. Uh, now, it looks like there's one that's bigger and that's the bottom one. So we're going to go back in place. I'm leaving it slightly open because I need to be able to, um, what you call it, uh, open them. That's the one that was repaired. Should I try to put it? I'll, I'll leave it in the middle. Okay, and this one, remember, you can't close it unless you have this open.
And this is where I'm at with this project. All right, and I think it looks pretty good. All right, let's open it. There we go. Okay. Man, it's really slanted. <laughs> that is weird. I'm totally doing this for show right now. Because uh, I want to see what it looks like. I'm pretty sure I should um, glue those. on the drawers. So the top, uh, this part here is good. It just has to be, I just have to take it out. Uh, basically and sand it and then this part here it's missing a little piece right here and then this comes out so that has to be repaired now this finial here you can see it's split right and it's actually broken to the point where I can just pull it out so the whole thing has to be uh, repaired and I have to use the clamps because clearly I'm not able to replace it. Um, this guy was not, he's not answering me. So it is what it is. Okay, fret work, I'll do it next time. Um, I have to wet it, see if I can get it flat again. I should be able to, and then flip it. Let me open this. So that way, um, I'll restain it so that way this side that's damaged will be on this side. And then the side that's nice will be on the other side. I'll flip it. But I have to remove all of these little baguettes here in order to do that. Um, okay, so let me measure the back. I'm going to... I got dirt. I need to... Um, Clean it up first and then I'll measure. Thirty and a half by twenty five and a half. Okay. Okay, so I am done. <laughs> I'm done for now. Um, I ended up closing all the drawers because I got the key. I can pull them with the key. This is the before and after as of now. I think it's a big difference. Um, I'm sure some of you prefer the old um, wood. I prefer the darker wood. Uh, that's what I wanted and it looks not bad at all for a first time we're finishing, but I'm not done, okay? I'm not done. I think that once the fret work is um, taken care of and the back is installed, it's gonna look really good. It's gonna look really, really good. So bottom line is that you gotta look really, really close before you can see there was repair. With the, uh, just like I thought, once you put the um, oil on it, the um, um, tongue oil, you don't see any, I mean, you do, but you gotta like really catch it in the light. So not a problem. Um, and I did find a replacement nail. So this is on. So that's it for today. So the next time you see me, I will be working on the top. 
I'll remove the fretwork and then I'll start working on the top. Um, I've asked that company that does the uh, back, um, you know, the wallpaper I was looking at, uh, about the measurements, so he's going to give me a price, but I think it's, he said last time, I think he said 50 bucks, right? Um, but what I want him to send me first is a picture of the regular one versus the textured one. I want to see what the texture looks like. Um, and then I'll make a decision which one I want. And I don't know how long it's going to take. So there may be a gap. By the time I'm done with the fretwork and um, the top, maybe I'll have the back delivered and I'll be able to work on that. Otherwise, there'll be a... Um, a gap, but I like it. <laughs> so where is it going to be in this room? Um, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. It may stay here. Um, it may move at the bottom of the stair. I may put it here against the staircase. I don't know. I got to think about it. I have a whole lifetime to figure out where I'm going to put this piece. and. I love the richness of the wood. That red mahogany is really pretty. It really is. And the inside looks great. So thumbs up if you like uh, this project and this video. Subscribe right here in the corner if it's your first time and um, you want to see the rest. Click the bell button so you get notified when I post a new video. Um, I don't know when the bigger entertainment centerpiece is going to go. Uh, obviously, I got to find ways for the uh, TV, the kids use for, what is it, a, a switch um, video game, and then something for the bar. Um, so we could be in that situation with this thing, still in here for another year, who knows. I'm taking my time. Um, It, it's starting, I have ideas, okay? It's, it's starting to uh, um, come to fruition. And I hope you like what I'm gonna do with this room. Um, anyway, at my great challenge on Facebook and Instagram, uh, the Etsy shops, link down below. And then if you wanna continue supporting uh, projects and this channel and a Patreon, patreon.com slash my great challenge for exclusive content not seen on YouTube what's the matter oh, she's really limping I'm giving her um, I gotta go see the vet again um, the pills he's giving us is not making any difference and where was I patreon that's it um I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.